Well, hello, and here today on Rusty Glove Box, what we're going to do today is we are going to replace my vented gas log set in my fireplace. Uh, I am going to install a ventless gas log set, and uh, let me show you my old logs, the reason why I'm doing this. We were without power for like for five days, and uh, it was a pretty intense uh, winter temperatures that we had so we were using our gas fireplace to for our main source of heat so we ran it more than we'd run it in a long time but you can just see all the little sooty buildup and it built up on the logs and all that and it even built up on the inside of the fireplace and it took me a while to clean all that out but I'm going to take you inside now and I'm going to show you what I'm going to install in there now. Well here is the ventless or vent free uh, log set that I got. Uh, it's made by HearthSense and this is a 24 inch wide uh, set. And let's see, you can read on the box, but it has uh, 32,000 BTUs and supposed to heat a room uh, 1,200 square feet, you know, so that's a reasonably good size area. But anyway, uh, it comes with everything in the box to install except the hose and the fittings. So uh, you need to be aware of that. And uh, I'm going to zoom in on. Here's where I zoomed in so you could get the part number for the hose kit. It, it says sold separately on the box, so uh, you can believe them. There's nothing in there to uh, attach the hose to your uh, plumbing pipe coming out of the wall. So uh, anyway, be sure and uh, get yourself a hose kit. One thing that I did like about this kit is that it had a dual valve system where it would either operate off of natural gas or propane. I use propane so it was easy for me to uh, just plumb it in for the propane setup and uh, didn't have to worry about asking for a specific kit or anything. Well here we have uh, the fireplace insert uh, install I used a couple of screws to mount it to the floor so it won't move around I'm gonna check with a soapy solution to see if I have any bubbles that would indicate a leak not seeing anything I've already checked up under where another connection is and uh, that looks okay on this model we have like a battery start function and uh, does like a little igniter. Takes a little while uh, to bleed all the air out of the system when you first started. I've already done it. But I have it pushing in on pilot it lights the pilot right away. You want to hang on to it a little bit, let it heat the center sensor up. Let's see if that's long enough, yeah. And so now we turn the knob counterclockwise. And what I'm doing here, I'm just making sure everything is operating correctly before uh, I put the, uh, the logs on there. But anyway, everything looks good. Here's a nice little addition. Uh, this thermostatic valve, it has a little capillary tube that you mount here on the outside and it can actually sense the temperature in the room somewhat. Uh, and if it gets too warm, it'll actually cut the valve back. And uh, 
then when it cools down, then it will start the fire back up. Well, what I'm going to do now is start installing the logs. And it, they all have a certain way that they go. And you just follow the picture, and it should be fairly easy. It looks like the picture. So anyway, guys, I do appreciate y'all uh, coming by and seeing me install that uh, fireplace log set. And this is the vent-free setup. And uh, the reason why I went with it is because it's supposed to uh, project more heat into the room and uh, it not go up the flue of the chimney. So anyway, I'll probably sometime in the future, uh, probably won't be till winter, uh, I'll do kind of a review of it uh, after then. But anyway, I appreciate y'all coming by the shop today. This is Rusty Glove Box. And I'm out of here.